Hi, my name is Asa Robbins and I am a junior here at Sequoia High School. I also take concurrent enrollment at NSU. I'm going to plan on being a, almost finished with my freshman year of college by the time that I graduate high school. I wanted to start early because I knew that if I wanted to go into the medical field that it was going to be a long road of school and so I figured if I could get a jump start on college while still being in high school. I knew I was Cherokee but I really didn't know like the history behind it because growing up I never really focused on race because everyone kind of looked like me so I just thought it was normal for everyone. In my family uh, the tradition kind of got lost and so now that I'm here at Sequoia it's all about learning everything new and carrying on my bloodline so I can teach the next generation like my kids and they can teach their kids about everything I've learned here and relearning the traditions of the Cherokees. I'm in National Honor Society. I'm a member of student council. I'm a class officer. In student council I'm kind of like more aware of like when we're going to be having a pep rally, what the theme is, kind of ahead and so I'll plan ahead. I'll get really excited and I'll go to one of my class sponsors room like usually in my free time when I don't have a college class and I'll go into her room and I'll start like drawing out blueprints and like asking other like peers and stuff like do you think this would look good do you think this would look nice and then we'll come together and we'll start to like you know make it all out. Sequoia has actually introduced me to a lot of things like we have an annual in-school powwow we just had it a few weeks ago uh, it kind of it shows all the students about the dances and it teaches the meaning behind the dances and even allows us to like practice them and participate in them. At Tinkiller I learned the Cherokee Choir so I kind of learned to sing in it. Never really knew what I was singing but I'd pick up here on a few words here and there and so I like to learn the language a little better and the dances has just always been fun to watch. She is every teacher's dream to have as a student. Not only that she works hard and tries to make sure that she understands every topic She's willing to help other people in the class when she understands it and they don't. She really brings a sense of community to the classroom. I think Asa is an excellent example of what a young person today should be. She works hard, she cares about others, she's a leader, she takes school serious, she participates in extracurricular activities, and she's someone that I would love for my child to look up to even. NHS is it's not only about grades, but it's also about like serving your community. So we recently went angel tree shopping and <laughs> I kept wanting to go over budget because I kept wanting to buy the, the really, really nice things and buy more things and get their whole list. But it's, it's really about going out and serving the community. Uh, cross country is a lot of hard work and a lot of people just really, it's, I want to say it's kind of an overlooked sport because a lot of people think it's just running, but it's, it's really, it's like a mental thing because you, you're gonna, you have to want to go run four miles every day or sprint two miles in workouts for 400s or 800s. I love Amanda and Coach Horse Chief, like they've really pushed me to just not only be a better athlete, but to be a better student and to go follow all of my hobbies, not just running. And they really focus on the betterment of like me and all my other teammates. This is her third year of being here at Sequoia and she's been all state her first two years in cross country and she's been pretty much of a real good leader for our team also. She was a hard worker. She works hard all the time and she's really good at that giving out there and giving the, taking the lead and showing everybody how to practice hard. She's the greatest. I mean she she's always there and she's ready to work hard I think all the girls see that and it's really helped their team to where they are right now. My great uncle Sam Hausberg, uh, he served in the war and he was actually awarded a medal from Cherokee Nation for his service and he was the oldest person ever to do the RTR, the Remember the Removal Bike Ride. I think he was 70 something years old whenever he did it. To me, he just really shows me like what it, what like a good citizen should be, not only for the Cherokee Nation, but just as, like just a role model to me. But he really just stands out. I really want to go to the new uh, Oklahoma State University Health Clinic that they're partnering with the Cherokee Nation for. I really want to get it. I'm probably NSU for my basics or wherever running if I can get a scholarship for that, and 
do my basics somewhere and then come back for the medical school and then uh, get to serve my community.